Hey guys, it's me again. Um, today we'll be making a belt. Oh, and the website is officially up and running. It's anthonyfashion.webs.com. It will be in the link will be in the description. Um, in the in the description. Um, so yeah, that. And um, I'm working on a group that will be on the next. That will be available on the next video. This is my fifth video this week. Um. I try to get a lot of videos in the first week so people who start knowing me, people start getting some I will start getting some subscribers and viewers. So I'm doing a lot this week. But I will be doing that. Next week we'll be like doing like we'll take like a dress shirt or dress the whatever, whatever you wanna take and make it very trendy, very fashionable. We'll be doing that next week. Okay. Today we're going to make a belt like I said. What you want to get is get like thick fabric, like leather or something like that. Um, anything you want like that, and just cut it in half. Um, I'm using this. It's gonna be like a pattern thing. What you want to do with your fabric is you just wanna cut it in half, which I already did. So now from here, what you want to do is make about a medium sized strip. So I'll show you what I mean by that in like two seconds. You want to make it about the size of how you want the pelt the on um, the width of it to be. Now like how we have the width of going around, but like the tip and top to bottom so like two length. You want to get a thick like a fat amount so that looks actually very good. You don't want a thin belt. Nice and that was a whip in five seconds. Trust me, that happened to me. When I first saw me when I was around five years old, um, I had a lot of that happening. Everything just fell apart because I made everything too thin. I made everything bad. And yes, I did stop sewing when I was five. And I quit for a little while and became a performer because I found what I really wanted to do. But I also thought all my friends do costume designing. They all do that. And I'm like, hey, I'm really good at that. Why don't I start doing it again? Um, so I started doing that. Um, yeah, um, the reason I'm not doing challenging stuff because for this is a very new channel. I'm not, and plus people, I have like almost no people right now. I pretty much no people right now. So if you ever see this video, try getting out to your friends. Please, I'm really trying. Um, I really am trying to get some people to this channel so that I, the m more people we get. I'm trying to get like keep like keep laughing. Um, like someone like that. If you know her, I'll give a link to her channel. Like I said last year, I'm trying to get in touch with her so she can give me some ideas and stuff. And that's about it. I'm trying to find her email. Oh, I have two emails. Um, you're going to want to email me at my business email for this fashion. Oh, uh, it's just Anthony Arts, no capitals, 1126 at gmail, and of course dot com. If you want to email my personal. Um, then just, it's ant, ant dot nucc at gmail, and that's my personal, and then my business is, of course, what I said before, is the Anthony Arts. Yeah. Um, like I said, I'll have this, um, I'll have a thing to my, um, website in, in the description. Okay, you have one strip, but now you just want to measure your waist and see how much more you want. Um, it's going to be like a small beginner about nothing really serious. Oh, and while I'm saying this, make sure you trim it, not exactly straight, but at least even with the other strip, with the other half of the strip, like this. We want to try and do that. Okay, so now I'm going to cut my last strip, so I have a small waist. Oh, and when you're cutting your second strip, put your first strip over it, so you know how big you want your second strip to be. You don't want them uneven. That would be a nightmare. So, yeah. You do not want that happening, especially with this, because on this you it has to be look like the same size, so you do not want it like that. That's why I am putting like this, um, so you don't have it like one very thin one. I'm not sure it to be like that, or like one like a back or a thin, then it gets um white as it goes back. If you want to do that, and that's fine. That's another way. My mom likes it like that. Cause it looks a little bit more fashionable, but this is just beginner, so I'm not doing like fashionable things right now. Oh, uh, oh! Next video, like I said, we will be doing about a we will be doing 
by picking like a dress jacket, dress shirt, or anything that you can really do. Um, we're gonna make it trendy. We're gonna make if that means we're gonna make it more fashionable than just a plain old thing. We're gonna make it very cool. Okay, so now you have your two strips. Now what you want to do is see if that's big enough. Okay. Um. Now let's see if it's big enough. Yes, it is. It's perfect, actually. So then you just want to sew um this part only one, because then when you're doing this, you want to, you don't want to slide it on. You just want to about um what we're going to do. We're going to take later after you sew this part. We're going to do something very trippy. So. Um, I'm not gonna sew it right now because I do not have a sewing machine. Uh, it'll take me forever because I have to do everything by hand that I sew. All the years I ever done sewing, um, well, I started when I was five, so my mom didn't really trust me with the sewing machine, and who can blame her? So, um, now you have about this big. Make sure it goes around your waist. Okay, so you have your two. Now, after that, you want to take like a piece of fabric, different color, or same color. You just want to make it like a square, circle, whatever you want the thing in the front to be. Um, like I'm going to make it like a circle, like that. So I'm just going to fold. If you're making a circle, fold yours in half longwise, and then just cut a semicircle. Yeah, and like I said, make sure your strips are pretty much even with each other. It doesn't have to be like, like all even sides, but like, it doesn't have to be straight on the sides. It just has to be even with the other thing. Okay, so I have this. Didn't really come out well. And then when you, and then like I said, when you did this part, when you did the sewing in that part, so I stick it right on. I'm gonna do it like that. Um, I don't know. Um, how to combine two videos into one. That's why I don't sew some things because I don't have a sewing machine. And if I did, I'd show you right in the video how to do the sewing machine. So I really can't do that because um, I'm getting one soon, pretty soon, about um, a week from now. If my mo if um, I'm allowed to get it, because um, I'm saving up for it. I only need about two more, uh, like a ten more bucks, and I'm getting that this weekend. Um, for my allowance, and that's why I bought my fabric foam. I get it at my allowance, so um, yeah. And then you just want to sew it, and then you're done. And then when you're done, just sew this part right on, and then you're done. It should look like this. Like I said, it's just beginner project. Um, you want, like I said, you want thick fabric. You don't want this soft kind. Um, I don't have any thick fabric right at the moment. Um. But I'm trying. But um, this week I'm going to the sewing shop and everything, so I will get some. And I'm also getting my sewing machine finally. Um, so I will buy some fabric. I will buy some sewing. I will buy a sewing machine. Oh, and on the website, like I said, I I don't have a credit card, but that's not weird. But so I will link you to um things on like eBay or Amazon to get the things. Alright, see you next time. Bye.